Hello everyone, this is Calvin Gastein. I'm at Moore's yeah, Elementary Calvin, School. Take your pitch, Take your pitch. We're here for a softball game. We're picking up action. I believe it's probably somewhere in the first inning. Gene Nabeen comes in and is out at the plate. Probably the second inning. We'll pick up here and find out what the score is. We're in the second inning, the top of the second inning. Carla Dragoon is the batter. She hits it back to Gene Nabeen and Roberts. Gene drops it down, throw the first to sample in time. I'm still struggling to get the lineups here. And Bev Perrier is going to be the batter. Blue Note leads 2-1. We arrived here 20 minutes late. We're taking the Northeastern Junior Varsity game. Strike. This is a night that the Junior Varsity defeated Saranac by a score safe at first. By a score of 27-26. Base hit by Amy Trombley brings up right. Donna Dragoon. Right. Brings it a high one, strike two. Oh and two. A short stop, two down. See Young, I believe, the batter. It's a base hit. And we'll have runners at the corners. Or excuse me, runners at every bag. Base is loaded. And Lisa Dragoon will be the batter. Barely misses the plate for the mat. I think it's a plate for the mat is a strike. Ball two. Ball two. Right. Two and one. Two one count. <laughs> to the right side, Musso. First, and that's gonna be it. Nothing across for Fox Hill. We're going to the bottom of the second with the score remaining two to one. Great! One shot back to Dragoon. One down. season. I wasn't aware that they were starting tonight. Nobody bothered to send me a schedule. Just happened to bump into the league secretary Teresa Bosley at the Northeastern game and she told me they were starting tonight. Too much arc. Donna Dragoon agrees, I guess.
Too much arc again. Second. And thrown away off Beaner at first. Otherwise, it might have gone into the tall grass. So, first base coach Gene Nabeen Roberts. Yeah, it from being out of play, and Debbie Musso, former Fox Hill player, steps in. I said ball one. Force at second. We're going to the top of the third with a score remaining two to one. Blue Note leading Fox Hill. Ball two. Marielle and Glode. The truck stop is lead batter here in the third. Ball three. Three and oh count to her. Ball four. Ball four, go to walk. Ball one. Sandy LaFountain looks at ball one. Very tough place to videotape here with the shadows. Base up the middle, Gold's going to go into third. We'll have runners at the corners. Lisa Bosley hits it to Cindy Sample at first. Sample handles it. Glode scores. A sacrifice. And Kathy Blondo the batter. Foul ball. Of course, we'll never know. All we got was Orville's shoulder. <laughs> Caught in fair territory. Two down. And Carla Dragoon the batter. Carla got a big hitting streak. She's got to hit every season that she's played thus far. Right, right. This is the Misak. Misak to Sample. Nothing across. We're going to go to the bottom of the third to score remaining 2 1. You're the home team. Oh, Lola Misak, the batter. We got a correction on the score. The score is 3 for Foxhill, 2 for Blue Note. Ball one. I've been a little disorganized here trying to get the. Lineups situated. Ball two. Ball two. Strike. Ball three. Three. And ball four, so Misak will draw a walk. And this is Janet Rabidou, third baseman. No pitch. Too much arc. No stealing in the women's league. Sandy LaFountain, go rabbit. 
One out. Well hit ball by Rabideau, and this is going to bring up Gene Nabeen Roberts. Swings at the first, hits it to Young at second. Young to road. Two down. Get the lead runner. And Luann Dragoon will be the batter. Ball one. She looks at ball one. Nice grab by Blondo at third. So after three full, it's going to remain Blue, Blue Note 2, Fox Hill 3. Moving right along, here we have Bev Perrier looking at ball one. Ball two. A two. Both teams scored two in the first. And Fox Hill scored one in the top of the third. Batter's out. She stepped in front of the plate. And Dragoon, knowing she didn't have to catch it, just let it fall. This will bring up Amy Trombley, the right fielder. Well hit ball. Grabbed by Holly Kupal in center field. Nice leaping grab in the left center field by Holly Kupal. Let me just bring up Donna Dragoon. Swings at the first pitch, hits it to Misek at short. Oh, nothing across for Foxy on the top of the fourth. We're going to the bottom of the fourth in a quick moving ball game. Score remaining 3 2 Foxy. Cindy Sample, the batter. Strike one. Ball one. No I made it about halfway to the plate. Sings and misses. Strike two. Slow roller, Dragoon will have to handle it. She'll toss the first to Mosley in time. One out. And Jane Roberts, the right fielder, will step in. That's from the left side. Pitches strike as it hits the edge of the plate. Side and deep, ball one. Ball two. Ball two. Two and one. Two, two. Ball three as it falls a little short. So that fills the count. Ball four, so Roberts will walk. And the batter will be Julie Gordon, the right center fielder. Go! 
Strike one. Alright, Julie, you watch him go. Make it be your pick. Fountain in left field. Nice grab. And then a good throw. Beautiful catch and throw by Sandy LaFountain in left field. This will bring up center fielder, left center fielder Holly Kupal. She made a nice grab in the top of the inning. Strike one from Dragoon. Glode kicks it. And Crystal Boris, the batter. First pitch is ball one. Strike, one and one. Out at second, Roberts left the bag. Left, not allowed to, not allowed to leave the play, the bag until the ball is hit. And when Boris, well, Teresa Bosley mouthing off at me as she comes in here. So when the batter swung and missed, when Boris swung and missed, Roberts was off and she's called for leaving the bag. Bosley's complaining because she got called for doing that about 15 times last year. That's called the Teresa Bosley play, in fact. They've named that rule after her. Nancy Young is the batter. Up the middle. And she's on with a base hit. Well, considering she's Carla Dragoon's baby sister, she's not a bad hitter. This is Lisa Dragoon, the right, uh, listed here in right center field, but I think she's, saw her in left center field. Lead off runner on here. We have a new catcher in for a blue note. Back to Roberts. Roberts will go to second for one. Misek will toss to first, not in time. Dragoon hoofs it out. One out. And should stop Mary Ellen Glode. Strike. They set to left field. Dragoon gets back to second. Now Sandy LaFountain will step in here. Ball one. Opposite field, Musso goes to first, and Sample bobbled it. He's safe at first. Sample looking to make the throw before that control. One out. One out. Bases loaded. And Teresa Bosley, the batter. Pitch from Roberts. Slow roller. There could be trouble. Throw's going to come home. She's out on the force out. Dropped it on the tag, but the tag wasn't necessary. So, force out at home. Dragoon is forced. Two outs. And Kathy Blondo, the third baseman, will step in here. Foul ball. Misek grabs it, nothing across for Fox Hill. We're going to the bottom of the 
fifth inning with a score remaining 3-2. You, the new catcher, going to lead off here in the bottom of the fifth. Ball one. Slow roller. Glode's going to have to hustle. Throw to first in time. One down. This will bring up Debbie Musso. Flares out to right center. Beth Perrier grabs it. Two down. And Lola Misek will step up. She's a shortstop. I believe she played for PJs last year. Strike one. Trombley catches it and grabs a seat. So three up, three down. And we're going to go to the sixth inning with a score remaining 3 2 Fox Hill over Blue Note. Ready! Catcher Carla Dragoon going to lead off. And slap a base hit no off Misek. Well hit ball by Dragoon. Misek did a good job of getting over there. The grass is a little long here though, so it slowed the ball down. Ball one. This is Bev Perrier, the right center fielder. Looks at ball one. Right. Strike. Foul ball. Back to Roberts. Roberts will go to Misak for one. Throw to first. Out. Double play. Amy Trombley swings and hits it to left field. <laughs> Luan Dragoon. Got that. Coupel ran in front of him. Dragoon stuck her glove out and it fell in. Well, we're going to go now to the bottom of the sixth. And the score is stuck here at 3 2. Janet Rabidou, the batter. Third baseman hits the ball. A diving grab out there by Lisa Dragoon. We were slowly zooming in, and the ball was racing away from us. Good shot, and a nice catch by Dragoons. We've seen some good defensive plays. This is Beaner Roberts, the pitcher. She's going to swing at the first pitch and hit her up the middle. Hey, we'll toss it in. Let's make up Luann Dragoon. Pitch from Donna Dragoon. So I'm back to Donna Dragoon by Carla Dragoon. We have all kinds of Dragoons out here today. No pitch, too much art. Something's got an inside one, hits a foul. Back of Blondo. Potential tying run at the second, potential lead run here in the bottom of the six at first base. And Cindy Sample about her. 
Road. It's the lead runner. Two outs. Road to Bondo. And Jane Roberts, the right fielder, will step in. So potential tying run still at second. And a potential on run at first. Strike one. We'll have to think about it for a while. Nice grab by Beth Perrier. That's going to be out number three. So Blue Hill threatened, but nothing across. We're going to the seventh inning in this fast-moving game with the score 3-2. Fox Hill leading the Blue Hill. Donna Dragoon set to lead off the seventh inning. It's the first one foul. Dragoon grabs it, one out. And Nancy Young will be up the batter now. Strike one. Strike two. Yeah, that's Carla's sister, all right. Behind third, Dragoon coming in, and she makes another nice grab. Keeping her busy there in left field. Two outs very quickly, and Lisa Dragoon, the batter. Strike one. Off the bat. Nice grab by Cindy Sample coming up from first base. So nothing across in the top of the seventh. We're going to go to the bottom of the seventh with the score. Fox Hill three, Blue Note two. Gordon. Step in here as Blue Note looks to make up at least run, one run here in the seventh inning. One to tie, two to win. Runs up on it, popped up, Dragoon should have it, she does, one out. Popped up to the pitcher, Donna Dragoon. That's me up left center fielder, Holly Kupel. Strike one. Fox Hill, the defending champions. They won the championship, the playoff championship. Oh. PJs were no longer in the league, won the regular season championship. But Fox Hill took them an exciting series in the playoffs under Dragoon's glove in center field. So the potential tying run is on, and Sue Lapone is going to step in. Grabbed by Sandy LaFountain, two outs, well hit ball. Two down and Debbie Musso. A last hope for Blue Note. No pit. Ball one. Ball one. <laughs> Fair ball. Tom Lee gets it in in a hurry, so the potential tying run in the person of Holly Kupel is now at second base. Potential winning run in the person of Debbie Musso at first base. Two down and Lola Misek, the batter. Ball one. Ball one. All two. Ball 
Ball three. Ball three, three and oh. Oh, Dragoon one pitch away from loading the bases. Pitch is in there for ball four. Oh, Misak will walk. And a potential tying run moves up to third base. And Janet Rabidou, who's the third place hitter in the lineup, steps in here. Strike one. Kupel throws her hat to the ground. She's ready to run here. She represents a potential tying run. Popped up. Strike two. Oh and two. Two out. Base loaded. Now what, what more can you do on here? No balls and two strikes to Rabidou. One strike away from the Fouled. I'll have a repeat of the 0-2 pitch. Popped up. Dragoon should have it. She does. She slam dunks it, and that's the ball game. Oh, uh, pop up to the pitcher with the bases loaded. And a potential tying run at third. Well, that's the way it was here, May 20th, 1987, at the Moore's Elementary Field. Opening game of the season. For the Little Towns League. Fox Hill on their way to defending their championship takes a 3-2 win against Blue Note. <laughs> 